Hey everybody, welcome back to The Loop. Today we are dealing with the question that everyone is asking at some point in their life. In Mark chapter 10, Jesus has an encounter with a man who has both money and morality. Now, when this man meets Jesus, he asks Jesus, what must I do to inherit eternal life? It's the question that almost every person asks at some point in their lifetime. What must I do to inherit eternal life? Or we might say it this way, how do I go to heaven when I die? How do I avoid the bad place and end up in the good place when this life is over? And so Jesus answers. He starts by talking to this man all about morality. And the man says in response, Jesus, I have kept all these commandments since I was a little child. And so Jesus is showing us that this man really is a moral person. So then Jesus shifts the conversation from talking about morality to talking about money. He tells the man, go sell everything you have, then come and follow me. And the text says, at this, the man's face fell and he went away sad because he had great wealth. When that man left, Jesus said something that shocked everyone in the crowd. And he didn't just say it once, he said it twice. He asked the question, how hard is it for the rich to enter the kingdom of God? Now, the reason that shocked everyone in the crowd is because the people in Jesus' culture, they believed that people were rich because God was happy with them. If God is pleased with you, then he blesses you. This man is blessed, which means that the man must have pleased God with the life that he was living. Now, Jesus uses this whole encounter to correct this pretty common misunderstanding. So when the disciples ask, who in the world then can actually be saved? Jesus answered this way. He said, with man, this is impossible, but not with God. With God, all things are possible. See, it doesn't matter how moral you are or how much money you have. You aren't getting into the kingdom of God by yourself. Only God can get you into his kingdom. Paul said it this way in Ephesians. He said, it is by grace that you have been saved through your faith in Jesus. It is not of yourselves. It's not of works so that no man may boast. If you could get in on your own, Jesus would not have had to come into the world and he certainly would not have had to die on a cross. And so let me ask you, have you been banking on your money or your morality to make you right with God? If so, stop trusting in yourself and start trusting in Jesus.